Hi, welcome back to Sarah Daily, where we give you our best simple, actionable, reliable advice to help you grow and scale your small business. Today, we are talking about some tips on how to build community in your business. And building community is really important because this is why your customers will think of you less transactionally and more relationally. Having a sense of community amongst your, your customers and inside your business will really help with customer retention and customer retention is the best way to grow your business. So what are some of the ways to do this? Well, the first one is to tell the stories of your customers. Uh, we, t we talk about this a lot in our programs, testimonials, client features, um, members of the month, customers of the month, ways of making your current customers feel special, telling their stories of why they came to your business and the transformation that you have facilitated with them as your customer. Those are powerful stories for your future customers to see that you are creating community, you are creating a place that people wanna be. Uh, that will attract people in more than any type of other marketing you could do. The second thing is to show your face and tell your story as the owner. Nothing creates community more than when they, when your customer can relate to you as a leader and they feel like you are one of them and your story is relatable. For many of us with small businesses, the reason we have the small business to begin with is because we went through the, trans the transformation that our business now facilitates or we are passionate about how our business helps people. So make sure that you are showing up, you are telling that story, and you are creating a community around your why and your purpose as the owner. And then the last thing is to create a, cultivate a sense of belonging. And this can be a little elusive for some of us, especially if your business is more transactional and you don't have a, a, as much ongoing contact with your customers. But there's lots of subtle things you can do in an in-person business or a services-based business to make people feel like they belong there. Um, a lot of that has to do with your brand, uh, and how it feels to be a customer. A lot of that has to do with follow-up and making sure that people had a great experience. So take some time and think about what makes you feel a sense of belonging at businesses that you love, and then take some of those tips and put them into your business. So your takeaway for today is look at your business. How are you creating community? How could you do a better job of creating community? Could you tell more customer stories? Could you show up more as the owner with your face and your story? and how can you cultivate a sense of belonging. Thanks for watching. For more tips like this, check out the community, our online membership site for women who own small businesses and want to grow and scale. We have tons of resources in there and a great mastermind community of your peers. We would love to see you there.